the uh, 13th of April, and I hope I'm not going to have too much trouble showing you this video because so far I've had nothing but trouble. <laughs> so this is my select menu. Now, when you go into the controller keys, you can set your keys to whatever you want. You can't set the same key for uh, for two different uh, buttons. So, uh, so D, I can't press D again now. But I can press P, but now on A I can't press P again. So I'll make that H, I'll make right L, I'll make up I, I'll make this one X, and then left I'll make it B, and this one I'll make it B again, but I can't. So I press N. Now, let's say you're like, oh shit, I cannot reset the buttons now. I'm pressing up and down and I can't do anything. Well, I set it as a precaution. First of all, the, num the numeric up and down and all that stuff, you can still scroll up and down. But if you really just want to reset the buttons, you see A is H and B is X. So you find X and H on the keyboard, press them at the same time, and whammo, quick fix. So now I'm going to get out of this menu. Now we've got the main menu been working on the animation and a few tricks to make objects appear and disappear off the stage. It's still really messy. As you can see, Mario hides behind one of these uh, mounds. But I know there's a way to, to change the display object list, so I'll be able to set it so that Mario appears in front really soon. I'm just way too tired to work on it right now. So this is uh, where I'm at. Object, uh, Mario is still not making contact with objects yet. So he doesn't actually hit any of the blocks. I was just experimenting with the animation and uh, still run into some bugs. So I think I'm going to create a, a file on its own just to mess with the animation and see what I get. But it's looking a little bit more complete. So that's where I'm at.